Hi, my name is Taylor Bybee, the host of Coaster Studios, and welcome to the semi-annual Silver Ticket Awards. It's the spin-off of the Gold Ticket Awards, only this time the awards are accurate. It's the awards that these rides and parks absolutely deserve, but no one else will admit it, so here we are. Now, if this is your first time attending the Silver Ticket Awards, we welcome you and encourage you to check out last year's Silver Ticket Awards. But this year we have all new rides, all new parks, and a lot of these were voted on by you, the viewers. So, we're glad to see you here, and we're going to waste no more time and get straight into the awards, starting with the rides. Our first prestigious Silver Ticket Award is going to the legendary King Da Ka. King Da Ka was voted the GP's number one roller coaster. I mean, it's obviously the tallest and the fastest, so it has to be the best, you know? Let's move on to Sky Rush at Hershey Park. Sky Rush was voted most likely to kill you if the chocolate didn't already. I mean, let's be real, you're gonna feel it in your thighs either way. So let's move on to our next attraction, which is Harley Quinn Spin Sanity. No, no, not that Harley Quinn Spin Sanity. Yeah, oh, no, or that one. It, yes, yes, okay, that Harley Quinn Spin Sanity. Harley Quinn Spin Sanity was voted. Does anyone actually know if it's a roller coaster or not? No, not that Harley Quinn Spin Sanity. Ah, freaking mother of six flags. So, that being said, let's move on to Pandora, the world of Avatar, featuring neither the radio station nor the last airbender. Mm, just for kicks and giggles, can we see what that... Ah, there we go. Yeah, I can see why they didn't do that. Kind of shame, too bad. That'd be really cool. Our next roller coaster to receive the prestigious Silver Ticket Award is T3, everyone's favorite roller coaster, which was given the Amputation Award. Hey, just be glad I didn't give it to the Smiler. Moving on, our next award goes to Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. Thank goodness it didn't go to Six Flags New England, otherwise it'd take all day just to say what you want to ride. Okay, so we got Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster and Gotham City Gauntlet Escape from Arkham Asylum. Yeah, I'm not following that. So that does it for this set of awards. Now our next awards were handpicked by you, the audience. So we are pleased to announce that our first silver ticket award voted by you is going to Boss, which needs to get fired. And next we have Patriot, which was voted most likely to be a victim of identity theft. Looking at you, California's Great America, but I mean, you know, if it were in another chain, there'd probably be like 10 of them, so can't complain that much. And next we have Haunted Mansion, which is voted most likely to add all the dead bodies from the Big Apple coaster to their collection. Yeah, now we know where all the skeletons come from, but let's talk about Twisted Cyclone, which is most likely to have been designed a week before the announcement. Well, I mean, King's Dominion put two coaster names together, so why not? And now we have come to our final award, which is going to The Shed, which was voted worse than the 2017 coaster lineup. And that about sums up our year, but we're not done. Let's move on to amusement parks. First up, we have Lagoon, which was voted most likely to not understand the concept of naming a roller coaster. Yeah, you do understand that that's like the model of the ride, not like the recommended name. Like you can name it whatever you want. I don't care what you name it. Just don't name it Roller Coaster or Wild Mouse. So our next park is Gilroy Gardens, which is what the singing mushrooms would look like if no one actually liked them. Everyone forgets about me. I make the hamburger. So is this a thing now? Like, are we going to start giving every park some sort of singing fungus or talking expired fruit? Because I kind of like it, actually. So next up, we have none other than everyone's favorite amusement chain, Six Flags, which has voted the world's greatest theme parks, according to Six Flags. We already have the best lineup of rides and attractions in the world. The Six Flags experience is second to absolutely none. Wow, guys, you really couldn't have given yourself a more prestigious award. Congratulations. Like, are, are we just going to pretend that, like, Disney, Universal, Merlin, Cedar Fair, Hershey, and, like, all of these companies don't exist? Because, like, yeah. But you're still the world's greatest amusement parks, according to yourself. And that's all that matters, right? Our next set of awards is going to the city of Las Vegas, which was voted the worst bad coasters to total coasters ratio. 
Yeah, not exactly an award you want to get, but then again, like half of these awards are pretty offensive. So we're going to keep moving on to our last, very last, like actually like the last award. This is going to none other than Six Flags Great America, which was voted Make Great America Great Again. So that's going to do it for the semi-annual Silver Ticket Awards. Thank you so much for sticking around. We're glad that you're able to be here, and we will see you again in six months after the Oscars for our next round of Silver Ticket Awards. Now, if you like what you see, you can also check out last year's editions. And if you want more really accurate coaster reviews, you can check out more on my channel. They're called Coaster Parodies. If you liked what you saw today, you'll love those. So make sure to subscribe for more content. And again, thank you so much for coming today. And we will see you guys again in six months at the next round of the Silver Ticket Awards.